Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lynn and this is my little rural homestead. So if you're not familiar, I live in northern lower Michigan, which means this is Michigan and I live way up here. So I live in a rural town. The population is 1900 and we have a couple of stores, but we have to travel 30 miles in either direction, like 30 miles this way, 30 miles that way, or 30 miles that way to get to a Walmart, to get to a Meyer, or to get to an Aldi. So <laughs> having said all that, that's not what the video is about today. Today we are going to make meatloaf. This meatloaf is the best meatloaf that I have ever made, that I have ever tasted. It is so good. And I got the recipe about five years ago from somebody on YouTube and her name was Misty, but I can't remember like the whole name of her channel. So please forgive me for that. But maybe if you search Misty low carb meatloaf, you might be able to find it. Um, but yeah, we are going to make that meatloaf today because like I said, it is the best meatloaf ever. So let's just jump into it, shall we? Okay, the first ingredient we need for our meatloaf, obviously, is ground beef. So I just have this ground beef that we bought from Aldi the other day. And I already opened the package, so we're just going to dump that in here. And then we are going to use a quarter of a teaspoon for each of these items. So a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt, one quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm serious, this recipe is so good. Don't even know. One quarter teaspoon of onion powder, And then one quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Then the last ingredient we're going to use is ketchup. This is the brand that I prefer. It's Primal Kitchen. This has all clean ingredients in here. So it has organic tomato concentrate, organic balsamic vinegar, organic white wine vinegar, organic grape, um, organic or organic grape mustard, um, or organic onion powder, organic garlic powder, and other organic spices. But Primal Kitchen, this is my go-to for condiments, it is anything by Primal Kitchen. I know they're more expensive, but what is that saying? You either pay the farmer now or you pay the doctor later. I think I'm much safer to pay... <laughs> The farmer now. So we're going to use six tablespoons of ketchup. And then we'll combine all of this together. Okay, so this is what it's looking like that you see in the light. And I just mixed it up with pork. Um, I remember when I was younger, my mom used to like get in here. Oh, you know what? We need one egg too. I'm going to go get the egg. We have to put an egg in here, but I remember my mom mixing this up with her hands, which is fine. You can do that if you want to, but I find doing it this way is just as easy. I'm going to go get the egg. We're going to put one more. We're going to put one egg in here. Okay, let's crack open our egg and see if it's any good. Yep, looks good. Nice and round and pretty. Nice and orange. I turned my oven on, it's preheating at 350 degrees. Once we get this all incorporated, get the egg in there, we will put it in the oven. I'm going to put some ketchup on top of it and then we'll bake it for 30 minutes. Okay, here's what our meatloaf looks like. I'm gonna throw this in the oven for 30 minutes. Our meatloaf is out of the oven. It's been cooling for about 15 minutes now. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love this meatloaf so much. 
Okay, friends, we are back. It is now the next morning, but I wanted to include this short tutorial on how to make a hanging towel to put on your stove. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some uh, dish towels. I thought this one would match the pot holder, not the pot holder, but the dishcloth that I'm currently making. So I'm making like washcloths and dishcloths. And I thought it would be a good idea to put a dishcloth and a hanging towel together. So this is the towel. Uh, last year, and it's been about a year ago, I took my grandsons to visit the Amish community that's not too far from us, about 30 miles. And while I was there, I bought a, a hanging dish towel. And I bought it specifically so I could use it for the pattern. So... What we do is we fold the towel into uh, threes. So you don't want it to be exactly, um, you don't want it to be exactly flush because what you want to do is fold it in half so that it's like what you normally would when it's hanging, like hanging on a holder, like a, well, hanging from the stove or hanging from a, a holder. <laughs> Because what we want to do is we want to also take a pot holder and fold the pot holder in half and then attach the pot holder to, we want to sew the pot holder to the uh, dish towel. So that's what we're going to do. So we want to make sure that it's even. So I'm placing it down face up and then I'm taking my pot holder and putting it in the middle like so. So it's like that, it's in the middle, and then I'm just going to pin it down and sew it. But I need to make sure that the pot holder is flush, which I need to bring my folds out a little bit more because it's not quite, you can see it's not quite uh, flush with the pot holder. So I need to do that. And I did iron my dish towel before I started this. Okay, let's see if that's going to be wide enough. Is that too wide? I'm going to bring it a little bit more. Okay, so we want to make sure the middle of the pot holder is flush with the middle of the towel. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pin it together and then we'll come back. Okay, so I have it pinned so you can see it's face to face. And the reason why I did it this way is because I can fold it like this and you can see it's halfway between the towel, like the middle of the towel. So now I'm just going to sew this straight across. Okay, look how pretty that is. So when I decided, here we go, this side, this is the side I want. When I decided which side of the towel I was going to use, I wanted to make sure that I had a center. I like this better than this because this is off center. So I wanted this to be the front of my towel. Now the only thing that I have to do is sew a button on. So this little, um, how you hang it, is going to go over the button. So we need to pick out a button. So I'm gonna pour some on my little stand. Ooh, this one's perfect right here. Look at that one. It matches perfectly. So we're gonna use this one and I'm just going to sew it by hand about right there. So I need to get a needle and thread, sew it by hand, and then we will come back. Okay, I am back and I have the button sewed on. So there's the button. Remember, this is the front and we'll put it on the oven like this, like this. And then the button is right here. So this just goes over that like that, you know? And you've got your bar like right here, the oven bar right there. So isn't that very cute? I really like that. So I'm going to use these and put these in the baskets for the food pantry. 
Okay, friends, that is going to conclude our video for today. I hope you enjoyed the meatloaf recipe. Mm. And our hanging towel tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.